This Mirador was built in 1911, and the photos of the early 1920s show the family enjoying the uninterrupted vista to the sea. That view has changed utterly. Well, now, now you have the noise of not just one motorway, but other roads crisscrossing across the whole of the landscape. Houses as far as the eye can see, factories, there are cranes on the horizon, and just beyond them, there's a faintest smudge, which I suppose is the sea. So this is the view of modern Spain. However, not all of the coast of southern Spain has been polluted by buildings, traffic and noise. I've come along the coast to Estepona to see a project instigated by the local council. It's designed to counter this trend and restore some of the former charm of this part of the coast and make it a better place for the modern inhabitants to live in. The esplanade in Estepona is now filled with families strolling freely with dogs and children, creating a safe and handsome link between the town and the sea. But this is the result of a decade-long project to rescue the city from being a traffic-filled, car-dominated chaos to what amounts now to a huge communal garden. The streets of the old town in Estepona are lined with colorful pots draped with flowers. And whilst it might conjure up traditional Spain, in fact, it is all new. I would like to show you this street because this is like an example uh -huh. of what we did uh, in the city. What was it like before? Where you had cars going through yeah. and we didn't have all these plants. So it was just completely bare. Ineth Paris Favera is a landscape designer who was on the committee that greened up Estepona. And Sergio Rodriguez is head gardener at the city council. To what extent did this involve the people that live here? They get involved from the beginning and they bought the color of the pot because every street has a color and then decide, I prefer this plant or I prefer that plant. But, but what about maintenance? I mean, this is very hot, it's very dry. Do you have to water them? In winter, we water once per week. Yeah. In summer, sometimes, we even have to water three times. And how many pots are there in all in the city? More than 16,000 we have. Yeah. Okay. And What's each right? one watered yeah. individually, <laughs> by hand? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. So we're looking nearly 50,000 doses of water yeah. every week. Twice. <laughs> well, yeah, OK. <laughs> In pursuit of this greening process, the whole geography of the town has been changed. The council even bought houses so it could knock them down and thus create more open planted spaces. In all, 14 kilometers have been restored and 135 streets renovated. Now, I confess, I don't know what these trees are. What are they? These trees are Bawinia variegata. That's what we call the orchid tree. Yes. The orchid tree, Darwinia. Yes. Have you noticed in the base of the trees? Well, now, what are these? What are they for? Every child that gets born, the family wants, they apply to the council and they say, we want to godfather a tree. For so they adopt a tree? They adopt a How tree. How much does that cost? Does it cost a lot? Nothing at all. It's free? It's free. It's just it's the spiritual connection. That's it. It's a very beautiful idea. I like it. 